What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan and today we are going to be expanding our horizons once again, hopefully increasing our skill sets and seeing how all of this goes. Uh, I will be creating a Star Wars inspired lightsaber mount for my little brother. I will be hopefully taking the skills that I've learned from the barbershop light uh, shadow box that I created just a couple of weeks ago and then I thought it would be really cool if I translated that skill and put that into a Death Star wall background style uh, LED mount for his lightsaber. And so, we are going to try and create this thing purely out of thought and inspiration and hopefully we come up with something pretty cool. So, let's go! Okay, now that we have the grid pattern cut out, uh, this is again, is the quarter inch MDF. I got it painted with matte black and hopefully I got everything covered. I sanded it a little bit with a 600 grit, so it's super, super smooth. Um, there's a couple of little tags in the middle here that hopefully I'll be able to get to come away. Uh, but I'm going to measure this and then I'm going to cut out a piece of that white acrylic to put in the background of this. So hopefully, here's my white acrylic. It'll look something like that, but far cooler. So that is the cut we are hoping to go for. Two minutes. Let's see if this works. found with cast acrylic is that your feed rate should be somewhere between 80 and 90. Plunge I've had great with around 20 and then depth per pass um, I'm really not taking not I, I'm really not taking that much material I'm doing three hundredths of an inch uh, every single pass but those are my cut settings. Well there's the mock-up so again I got my white piece of acrylic with my painted piece of MDF And it doesn't look bad so far. If you can see what I'm trying to attempt here is I cut out this little nub and I'm trying this new joint that I have not done before. I don't even know what kind of joint this would be called. But now, I just need to take out this section right here, and this section right here, and then it should all snap together. So how this whole thing assembles is I got my long pieces of MDF, got my side panels, got my acrylic, it will sit in on those grooves. Ah! like so like so and then the grid pattern will sit in there and then we will have the illuminated tape and backplate to help bring out all the light through this grid
Well, everything was going well, and then I cut myself. So, that's unfortunate. But, you know, it's part of the build process.